I mean, Coco even said it earlier tonight. If he's anticipating the return of Mono Loga at Square with his spare. Oh, speaking of a kill, here comes Arasu. They haven't seen him yet. From the border to Mexico, back a home like that. Now, introducing their partner. From Shreveport, Louisiana. She is the superior entity, the real Arasea. I know what you're saying, folks. How would she get back from Mexico? Well, I'm kind of loud, folks. It turns out that Arasea tried to get back in the United States, but people thought that she was speaking into the United States illegally. She did not have her papers that she was an American citizen. She had put in a Mexican prison. This one, this one all looks like it's all going to go to hell for Arasea. Supposedly, it's a mysterious no unknown woman who has bailed out Arasea's vouch for claiming that she worked from the, from, the, from the American Embassy was able to clear her papers and prove that she was an American citizen that was still over the border in the Mexico and they were brought back to the United States. That's what I heard. There it is. It's very the country of Mexico and all of its inhabitants. Of course, it's there it is. There's some racist marks like that. Marks like, remarks like that. But more than that later, we see the match now underway. Look at this. Anything? Oh, the scene of that neck breaker there. Arisay has definitely got a lot here to prove in this matchup tonight, but it's kind of hard when it's a three-on-one handicap match. You're not really going to earn anyone's respect if you go over here tonight. And Arisay with that embarrassing loss being just completely just border slingshot over the American, you know, Mexican border. Kind of all this for tonight. This match is not about putting people over or redeeming yourself. This is all about one thing. Sissy Hardy getting revenge on the women that prevented her from saving her friend Angelinas, saving her career. We found out earlier tonight that Arisea, Ursula Ario, Anton held the entire UW locker and was already informed, with the exception of Sissy Hardy and Athena, they were informed by Pink Angel herself that they all that, that she was going to face Angelinas in the match when Angelinas lost, that her career would be over with. And of course, these women took that opportunity to make sure Angela Lynch is out of UWA so they can take her spot. Because obviously a lot of these women have not really been featured that much. With the exception of Ursa Ariana, of course, the number of course the women's champion right now. Definitely gotta apologize, folks, for not really doing play by play this match. I mean, what what do you want us to do? Do you want us to just commentate how Stacey Hardy's gonna own in this match? I mean, come on, it's a three on one assault here. Not really much we can do about it. We just commentators. You see what happens to us if we get involved. It's never a good thing. Damn right, old team. And now I think about it. I think there might be somewhat validity to this whole college state university thing. Because think about it, folks. Pink is learning a lot of things that we've never seen her do before. I mean, she's learning how to manipulate people and convince them to do things they normally wouldn't do. And look at this. You see Ursula Ariano stalking Cesar Hardy. Look at this. It, oh, it's into that East Little Super Kick. And when his feet run in the air, say, and it hits that DDT. Okay, he's got his feet just dissecting Cesar Hardy and her, and her legacy. Fossil that huge pile drive, almost killing the heart and soul of the women's division here in UWA. Definitely got to feel sorry for Cesar Hardy. I mean, I'm, even though she asked for this match, give her props for asking for this match, but what did you think was going to happen? you think you're going to go over you know, three very credible women? I don't really think so. Anna Tan hitting that reverse neck breaker like Cutter off the... Off the turnbuckle. Oh my! Punching kick! And kick their head off and Anna Tan goes to the cover and it's over. Just like that. Just a few minutes into the match as Sissy Hardy eats the feet by Anna Tan, Ursula Ariano, and Arisea. Of course, she ate the feet by that punt, but the, the, the face by Anna Tan there. Here's your winner, the real Arisea, Ursula Ariano, and Anna Tan. And all this, folks, Angelina's gone. Sissy Hardy being buried. It's all no thanks to Pink Angel. For some reason, I don't know how, I'm not gonna say she was a call to university because I don't believe that shit. But somehow she managed to fool everybody in this game. I don't know, folks. What's the backstage with Ursula which ran to the backstage right after the match was over with?
Olivia Ariane having the ovaries, I guess, in this case. Going up to Ursa Ariane's face, her older sister, challenging for the Women's Championship. But Ursa made a huge point. I mean, she hasn't really done much as of late. And, of course, one way to get an opportunity was to, of course, earn it in a number of contenders match next week. I guess we're going to have ourselves a number of contenders match involving a few double X's. Remember, wins will face Ursa Ariane for the Women's Championship at Square of Despair. And speaking of square despair, it's a few weeks already. We are live Sunday, January 16th on Click Per View. My goodness, folks, we can live from the Quick and Loans Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. At square despair, with 15 men, 15 women, and two matches. They'll return two winners. And of course, the winners will move on to headline the biggest CP of all time. Pandemonium 11, one man will win, one woman will win, and they'll make history. For instance, we're going to go backstage with the enforcer, Nick Wilson, owner of the UWA. And then, like I said, a little discussion involving Fool Killer. I guess the enforcer Nick Willis and Full Killer already know who that man was that attacked Full Killer back at Claim to Fame. And by the looks of it, after what they just said, I guess, well, let's face it, folks. If New Scene was still here, he'd be freaking pissed right now because apparently Full Killer and the enforcer Nick Willis are, you know, in fear that there might be more gimmicks in the near future here in UWA if he runs a muck and has his own way over this man that we're referring to is OH MY GOODNESS what intensity speaking of intensity here comes the former UBA win the UBA champion the following contest is scheduled for one fall on his way to the ring representing the nation of violence from parts unknown, Lord Magma. There he is once again walking through the gates of hell. And tonight he has an opportunity to unleash torment on the soul of Gene Starwind, who of course has been a huge rival of Lord Magma in the latter part of this year. Of course, don't forget Gene Starwind, he defied the nation of violence, especially Lord Magma, by using the second wish to face Lord Magma for the for the great championship at Bludgeon with of course using the master ring that is stipulation that all these bunches were barred from ringside. Let's face it folks, we all know how that one turned out. Of course these two that they fought at Hornet Bash in a rematch. In a hell in a cell match. And people have said that because of that aneurysm, that that real aneurysm that G Star is sustained by that Anderson, that vicious or bomb creator, whoever, whoever, whoever the hell, was, whatever that happened at Bloodshed was responsible for, which led to G Starwin collapsing on the top of the ring, going through the cell, going Lord Man to get the win, and putting G Star on an injury list for a month and a half. And now, G Star has a huge opportunity tonight. Because he hasn't a chance to do what he believes that he should have been able to do twice already. That's, and that's beat 
more magma. Of course, many fans around the UWA world have been behind Gene Star ever since. He got his everything getting thrust in the spotlight you know, back in September. And I'm sure all of them wants to finally see Gene Star prove himself and beat Lord Magma here tonight. On his way to the ring, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, he is the only Grand Slam champion in UWA history, the urban legend, Gene Starwin. Don't forget, folks, this match here is the contenders match. Whoever wins will face Rampage at Scarvis Griff for the UWA Championship. Speaking of square to spare, we may not have really heard yet who else is going to be competing. We do know at least Samoa Joe, Vaughn Creed, the Destroyer, as these people will be competing in the square to spare match. But now it's time to see who can compete the good championship against Rampage. You know, Lord Magma, the man that just went to war with Rampage, that claim of fame. Or Gene Starwin, the man with mutual respect with Rampage. And these two even said that they would love to meet each other one one in that very ring. And they have an opportunity for that at Square Despair. But first, he starts to go through all the more Magma, the big seven footer there. Look at Gene Stalin there trying to start things off fairly, try to go with that, you know, that collar and elbow tie up, and Lord Mang was having no part of that and has opened up with a big huge ass boot of his own. Wow, he almost decapitated Gene Stalin right on the spot. And that would have pretty much ended Gene Stalin's push as we know. Look at this, he's on bowing back here. Oh, takes him up and oh takes him down with that! A huge tornado DDT. Jesus Christ, did you see the height he got on that DDT? And even that much authority on the impact. And that had to be a good at least 11 feet. And 11 feet is actually huge, folks. Yeah, not like Ray Mysterio to off a, a prop table on the... Who was it? Was it Kane? I can't remember. Yeah, who really cares? But basically, people were putting over... Uh, on YouTube, we're putting over like it was huge, like the hugest spot ever, and it was not huge. It was so weak, guess, the watered down product, folks, for the WWE. And, and you want to talk about something that's not watered down? Urban Wrestling Association. You always get everything you expect from a great CAW. You get everything that you, that you expect a great wrestling promotion should be, and you're getting it here tonight on Assault, that's for sure. I mean, this is a main event quality match right here for a CPV, and you're getting it for free on Assault. Nonetheless, we digress here, folks. It's Gene Stalin starting things off, just kicking Lord Magma when he was down, but now Lord Magma coming back here. With all the momentum in his favor. He's coming over that, that knee to the side, and now he's got this headlock on trying that this modified sleeper hole, but look at that. The, the veteran Gene Stalin able to come back. And that's exactly why he's a former Grand Slam champion. 